Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you, talk about all the items that I've been loving recently. I feel like in today's video, we have a really good mix of like makeup, hair, shoes, handbag. I even have a candle to show you guys today. So I just kind of wanted to like pull everything together and talk about, you know, these things. I'm pretty sure you have seen them either on my Instagram, Twitter, vlog channel girl i'm sure you have seen it somewhere so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe that way you'll be notified every time i post a video and with that being said let's go ahead and get started that was my phone <laughs> phone is on mute so we're good to get started i want to make sure i don't get interrupted in today's video because I just kind of want to talk about these products. I'm like so excited. So let's start off with makeup. I want to talk about what I'm wearing on my face today. Thank you to Bobby Brown for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I actually have a really long day ahead of me. I have lunch with my sisters and then I also have a birthday dinner that I'm going to. So I wanted my makeup to stay on look flawless i know i'm going to be taking a ton of pictures so that was also something that was on the back of my mind so i wanted to talk about this combo i'm pretty sure you've seen it on my insta stories this has been on repeat if you have a really long day you just want your makeup to last you want something that has spf that's going to stay on this combo is honestly so bomb so the first product that i wanted to talk about is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I like to use this as a moisturizer. It preps my skin, it makes it nice and soft for my foundation to go on, and it just creates a really nice canvas for me to work on. It also smells really good. You guys have seen me use this for like years. Like I've gone through so many, and I still highly recommend it. It's good for all skin types, but if you're new to my channel, I have oily T-zone, and the rest is pretty normal, and I really haven't had any breakouts in, I want to say like six, seven, eight months. Oh my god, it's been a really long time since I last broke out, but this is really good for all skin types, so if even if you have sensitive skin, you can still use this. Actually, I would recommend it if you have sensitive skin. For foundation, the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15, and my shade is Golden Natural. This is my perfect shade. You know when you find your perfect shade and you're just like, okay, I need to use this for the rest of my life because it is honestly like the most perfect match, but I love how this foundation just sits on the skin. If you've been looking for a foundation that looks good, feels good, doesn't feel heavy on the skin, I would highly recommend this one. It also comes in a ton of shades. So you can go over to Sephora, you can check online on the website, or you can go in person and get matched for it. But honestly, you guys, I, I feel like you'll be able to find your shade because they have so many shades. I've also been really loving the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Peach. If you've been pregnant before, you will know that the third trimester, you barely get any sleep. One, because you can't really find a position to sleep in. And two, you're up every hour going to the bathroom to pee. So in the mornings when I have to head out to a meeting, I have to film, I have to do something, I need those dark circles covered. This will honestly do the job. I basically like to pack it on right after I put on my foundation and then I'll put on my concealer and you cannot see it at all. I'll show you guys what it actually looks like. So it's a really nice creamy formula. It blends really well on the skin. And all you need is a little bit, honestly, a little bit goes a long way, but it covers, it does the job, and I really like it. So this combo, lifesaver throughout my pregnancy. On my eyes, I'm wearing this Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher, and this is in the shade Spotlight Glitz. This is actually one of their newer products, and you guys, as soon as I put this on my eyes, I was like, oh my God, I need a picture. It looks so good. The glitter reflects so beautiful when the light hits it. And I was trying to take a picture earlier and I got so many good ones. And I was like, okay, I probably need to wear this every single day because it just photographs so beautiful. You can actually see the glitter in picture. Like I'm telling you guys, it is bomb. So I really like it. It has really light, fine glitter. It's not chunky at all. One thing I do want to say though, is that you want to make sure you have some type of powder underneath your eyes before putting this on because it does have a little bit of a fallout, 
but once you have your powder on and then you put this on your eyes you just dust it off you'll be good for the rest of the day but it just looks so beautiful it does come in several shades you guys know that i live for my lashes i love a good pair of lashes and you guys always ask me what am I favorite? What am I using? What's your go-to right now? And I want to say for the past four or five months, Sugar Baby has been on repeat. They look so bomb with makeup, with no makeup. I just honestly like that flare look. And it's kind of like longer on the outer parts, which to me, it looks so beautiful, especially if you're doing like a wing eyeliner or if you don't have any eyeliner and you have a really pretty eye makeup going on and you want your eyeshadow to really show these eyelashes oh my god they just look so good so the style sugar baby is my favorite they do have a few different styles but i feel like this is the one that i gravitate towards the most just because it's my favorite so if you guys want to check it out it's just on baddie lashes and i do have a coupon code for them now it's just diana if you guys want to try it out it'll give you 10 percent off your order i have been testing this new collection by estee lauder it's by violet and they came out with a nude collection so these are the four nude lipsticks in the collection i'm actually wearing 115 on no yeah 115 on my lips right now with a kylie lip liner which i'll show you guys in a second but i really like this formula it's a matte formula but it's so comfortable on the lips and i like that it's long lasting but it doesn't make your lips look kind of like crusty i feel like a lot of liquid lipsticks now are doing that and for that reason that's why i was like staying away from liquid lipsticks but once i started trying these out i was like wait i actually really like this and i kind of miss like the matte lip kind of look i was really into cream and sheen for a really long time i want to say like the whole last year and all of this year because it's already half way through the year which is kind of crazy i can't believe we're already halfway this is 115 right here this is the shade that i'm wearing and then this is 114. I did go ahead and apply a little bit on the center of my lips. But I do feel like they oxidize just a little bit when you put it on your lips, which I honestly don't mind. I still love how it looks. But the formula is my favorite. And also the packaging is super duper cute. It kind of reminds me of like KKW and Kylie vibes. I told you guys that my lips have been super duper dry. It's already, it feels like summer here in LA. And I was like, why are my lips feeling so dry? It could have been the pregnancy. It could have been because I was dehydrated. I don't know what. My lips were like looking all types of crusty. So I started using the Fenty Beauty Lip Balm. And let me tell you, in just a few days, I was able to see such a huge difference. It's so moisturizing, hydrating, and it feels so soothing on the lips. And I also love that it has an Adofi applicator, which I find to be useful. And I don't think I've ever had an actual lip balm with an applicator like this. I feel like they're all like you can just put on your lips directly. Or you have to dip in your finger, which I find so not sanitary. So um, yeah, I actually prefer something like this. If you haven't tried it, girl try it like today because it is so good if you've been following me for a while you know that i love to take care of my hair i love having glossy hair i love having healthy hair whether it's light whether it's dark whether it's long or short my hair needs to look good so i discovered two new products that i'm so obsessed with <laughs> Oh my god, my hand is getting all wet because I went and took this out the shower. But this is the IGK Amla Oil High Shine Top Coat. And you know how you use a top coat for your nails? It's like dripping everywhere. Um, this is basically like a top coat for your hair. So you will normally wash your hair and then you go in and use this as a deep conditioner. You leave it on for like 5, 10, 15 minutes depending on how shiny you feel like you want your hair. Then you rinse it off and you style it how you would normally style it. And it just looks so glossy and healthy looking. And I also feel like my hair just feels a lot softer after using it. This next product I would recommend to anybody who dyes their hair and just wants to amp up the color and the shine on their hair and this is the first product that I try from this brand and I am so impressed like I need to go back and pick up more from their line because this is actually like surprisingly so good this is by dp hue you're like diana are you gonna get to it because you just rave about the products so this is a semi-permanent hair color and deep conditioner i did end up buying the shade black because i do have black hair but it comes in a ton of different shades so whether you have blonde red 
brown, whatever hair color you have, check on the Sephora website. They might be able to have a color that matches your hair color right now. So it's going to amp up your hair color, but it's also going to add a gloss to your hair, which I absolutely loved. So you're going to use this the same way that you will use this one. The only difference is that this one is going to amp up your color and the gloss, but this one is just basically for like a gloss for your hair. So if you're happy with how your hair color is, just try this one. But if you want to amp up your color and the gloss, then I would say try this one. I love how it worked, honestly. The only thing I would say is that definitely wear gloves when using this because it did stain my nails and my fingers and my hands. So yeah, I had to like, you know, go in and like rinse, 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 rinse 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 <laughs> so i recently picked up a new handbag and i'm just so in love with it this is going to be my summer bag i wanted a new purse but i wanted something spacious i wanted something a little bit bigger because as most of you guys know i'm expecting a baby so i just mac he's going crazy i wanted something that i could actually fit my stuff inside and if i had to throw some of the baby stuff inside i could also throw it in there so this is my new dior book tote but it is so gorgeous you can dress this up you can dress it down make it look more casual but i really like how spacious it is inside i've gone to like a few places already events meetings doctor's appointments and I just literally throw everything in there. So I really like it. And I like the fact that it still has the shape, even though I, you know, put a lot of stuff in here. I also decided to go with this color and this print just because I don't have any navy blue bags in my collection. I feel like most of my bags are brown or black. And I have like two ivory bags, but I don't really have much. I'm like looking at the colors that I have back there because by the way did I tell you guys this is my new closet I feel like I filmed probably like two videos in this background right now but I need to get I need to give you guys a beauty room tour because we're completely done here like I need to show you guys everything how I decided to organize my makeup everything just oh, it looks so beautiful I can't wait to show you guys but yeah this is the first kind of like print and color this is actually my first Dior bag which surprisingly I don't have any Dior bags I feel like their style is so feminine and girly and I've just recently like gotten into um their stuff but I love this one I'm so happy with it the next thing that I wanted to show you guys are my nude heels being pregnant, you don't want to wear heels most of the time. You want to be in comfortable slippers. But for me, like, I have to go to events. I have to go to meetings. I have to be out and about. And I do have to kind of, like, dress up. So these heels right here, you guys, I have been wearing them literally with everything. I got them from Zara. And I got them a few months ago. So they do still have it in store and online. And they're so comfortable. I love that they have the chunky heel. So it makes it more comfortable to walk in. And overall, the plastic on the front is also really comfy, so it's not suffocating at all. But they're perfect for the summertime. For Literally, I feel like I wear dresses 90% of the time now when I'm going out. If I'm not going out, then you'll find me in leggings. But um, they go great with a lot of different things. So I'll link it in the description box below. And just for reference, I know you guys always ask me about sizing. I am an 8.5, and, and I always go with a 40 when I'm buying Zara shoes because... 40 fits the best for me and then the last thing that i wanted to mention is my favorite candle at the moment like this smells so good oh my god i just i love it so much bath and body works was having a sale i think it was for memorial day or something and i went on the website and girl i bought like 20 candles and my all-time favorite is japanese cherry blossom which i don't think i bought japanese cherry blossom candles before i have bought the plug-in for the walls because i like for my house to smell like it but i was like wait why didn't i buy the candles so i ended up getting a few of these and this smells so good i realized that most of the stuff like even perfumes that i really like have sandalwood in it which is probably like the main ingredient in this it definitely has a softer scent, but you can smell the main ingredients in here, which I really like. And one is all you need for the entire house. Like we moved into a bigger place because we were at a two bedroom and I light this up in the living room and you can smell that all the way to the master bedroom, which is all the way in the back. So I love that about it. And it doesn't burn easily. I feel like the sweet candles, which I honestly don't lean towards sweet candles because 
I just, I, I cannot smell sweet stuff in my house, even for my perfumes. If it's so sweet, it's gonna give me a headache and I just, I won't be able to wear it at all. But I like more like masculine scents when it comes to like home scents, if that makes any sense. But I just said scents, scents way too many times that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it i feel like anytime i do favorites videos like by the end of the video my voice is like completely raspy and gone but it is so worth it because these are my favorite types of videos to film so i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one very soon bye